Hello guys, long time no see, they asked me to review the Empower M9, so here I am. My first reaction was like, mm, okay, so we take the headphones and we put them to my ears, and then I'm like, how, that, how does how does the thing gets turned on, you know, like turn on, you know. So I grab my phone, I put my uh, Bluetooth to on, and I just start to touch them and then somehow it's connected what i realized later was like i should have read the manual first so okay bef before we start some things to note is you should not put your headphones wet in here okay even though they are waterproof if there is water in the charging case there will be a problem okay the next, uh, the next thing is, do not use any charger. It's better to use your PC or your laptop to charge your phone. And, to and talking about charging your phone, you take the cable and you put here. And that, that input and the other goes to the PC. Okay, it will display some light, red light when you're charging, or more like you will see some dots from here. Anyways. Ah, uh, in here there is a letter and this indicates in which which side goes to your ear yeah so that's another thing to note the the headphones comes with a manual as I told you better read this first then some different size earbuds for your ears and uh, a USB couple for the charger box so let's start by let me explain the button case or button case I don't know how it's called uh, so if you want to power on the device you just like your, your your headphones okay you just press and hold and then it will turn on yeah and it will start detecting your phone if you of course have turned the Bluetooth on in your phone yeah uh, to turn the volume up or down one side if you press tap and hold for like a little bit it will go start to go up yeah the left side will go down I think that's how it is to so let's say you're playing music now and now in your phone yeah and you just want to pause you just tap one time and it just will pause and if you want to start the music again you just press the tap again to uh, and for some reason let's say you want to change the track and go to the next or to the previous or whatever you know you just double tap and it goes yeah uh, for calls okay so somebody a girl or a girl is calling you or whatever you know and you want to pick up you just press one tap here and it pick up the phone now if that girl is like your ex-girlfriend and you don't want to pick up your phone for some reason you just tap and hold tap and hold for like two seconds yeah if you have siri in your phone you can triple click yeah uh, now to to reset to reset your headphones yeah you just put it them in your case and then you press for like tap and hold for like 10 seconds and it will reset your headphones if like um, there is a problem in connection or something like that the good stuff okay the good stuff is they have a high quality sound, you know, better than my IPX7. That's they are like slowly an older and cheaper version of this because these headphones are kind of more expensive than this. Yeah, um, as I said, they have a good high quality sound. They 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 are up for like a five hours to twenty five hours. So. 
they brought the probably this in like yeah to use them okay now about the bad stuff okay to be uh, honest guys these headphones are not suited for my ears or maybe i just do something wrong um so they drop off too quickly from my from my ears so if i walk they will just randomly drop off you know i try different size the the pads from here they gave but no chance to make it work after i put them and i walk somehow they will just go slowly 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 off because either i'm talking and then my ears like moving automatically so they don't fit properly another thing is if i tilt my 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 uh, head to the left they will and if i move a little bit around they will drop off yeah except if i really really push them like in like i did now and that's why they don't off drop drop off anyways um when when uh, when i was explaining you about the button case you know about playing and pause at the uh, music track sometimes it does just doesn't work you know and you have to press one or two times you know and just won't pause or more like because to me it does not fit to my ear yeah i have to adjust it so when i adjust it it sometimes i touch by accident here when i want to push it and the music it stops and uh, i have to press the play again so i press the play button again and it doesn't work and then i have to press two times you know and then i'm like Mm, did I press up? Did I press the button? Let me check my phone. So I use my phone for that. So I will come to this later. Uh, look, it's 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 really really good quality. This one it have really now really nice sound. Yeah, really amazing. Yeah. For my advice for improvement will be make the headphones fit better into the ears yeah personally i would remove the one press play from from the button for like when then it's like the play or the pause yeah and i would just uh leave the one press for like for the calls like press one time and pick up the phone and the rest of the stuff just it is Personally, I will stick, sorry guys, but I will stick with my IPX, IPX7 headphones, which they are kind of nice, yeah, they may not have the better quality, but when I go for running, they won't drop off from my ears, you know, they just be fit perfectly, yeah, they have around 5 hours, or 4 hours, or 3 hours, listening to this is no problem, they are waterproof, they are nice, this one I prefer much much better okay my conclusion is that you know so thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video I would say and as everybody saying on YouTube please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you